Am I recording? Yeah, there. Hi there. Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charmed Grammy Crochet, and I have to say, I just need to pop in really quick. I need some yarny help. Not really yarny help, I just, um, my poor dog. I have to vent for a second. I feel so bad for her. She has skin allergies in the spring. She gets them. I don't know what's, looks like she has doggy skin hate, there, pollen fever, spring fever, I don't know what it is. But she gets itchy. And she chews and she scratches. And so she's pain in the rear end because she's always scratching at herself and I feel bad for her. So I'm always yelling at her. Now she doesn't want to come by me because I'm always yelling at her to stop scratching. But in the meantime, I've been giving her um, Benadryl because I believe, I think that's what they've, they've given her medications and then they've also told me to use Benadryl. Well, last year she got really bad and I had to put a cone on her. I went away for the day, work, whatever, came home and she has chewed herself raw. And then she had to get on antibiotics and she had to get on medicine, uh, you know, anti-ish medicine, whatever, whatever. So I see the symptoms and I started giving her Benadryl. I gave her Benadryl this morning at 3 a.m. on my way to work. I just got home from work and my poor dog has chewed all the fur off of her little hind end by her tail, halfway down her tail, and it's she's all red, like she's been chewing to the point of bruising herself. The poor little thing. Well, now she's in that, and she wouldn't come by me. I'm like, what'd you do? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? And so then she runs past me. She a little run past, little tail between the legs, ears down, head down, like she knows she's not supposed to scratch at herself, but you know, she's driving herself nuts. I don't blame her. Don't get me wrong, I don't blame her at all. But the poor thing. So, anyway, I like finally get her to come by me. And I even sat on the floor and like, come on over here by mommy. And she comes running up right past me onto the couch. Up her little stairs because she can't jump up the her back. Hips are bad. She can't jump up by herself anymore. Runs right up the stairs and she's laying like right here by me. And I'm like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> so I turn around and I start checking her in, and then I see that she has just chewed the shist right, I mean, bad. So I call the vet and I say, you know, we got to do something because the Benadryl obviously is not doing the trick. And she's so sensitive, she won't even like let me get a good look at what she's done to herself. So the vet says, well, she's going to need to be seen. We can see her on Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you what the date is. I don't know what the date is. I'm so frantic over my poor pup. But today is Thursday. When I left her this morning at three o'clock, she was fine. And my husband comes home for work at, from lunch at noon. So she obviously didn't leave signs for him that something was wrong or maybe she didn't even get up off the couch, who knows. Um, but when I got home at 12.30, quarter to one, she is, she's just, she's gotta be, and she's pacing, like because she needs to scratch an itch and she knows she's not allowed, I'm gonna yell at her. So I put the cone on her. So now the poor thing is a cone head. She hates the cone head. She doesn't want to move when she has the cone on. But I can't let her chew herself up. I said to the doctor, I said to the lady, if we wait till Tuesday, my dog's going to chew herself to death. I mean, literally, she's going to chew a hole right through her skin. She cannot stand to be in her own darn skin right now. I can tell. So they're going to call me back. So if I get a phone call, because I'm recording on my phone, that's the only thing I have. So if I get a phone call, I'm sorry, I'll have to probably like start over. I don't know. But thanks for listening to my rant about my poor puppy. And she's not a puppy. She's 12 years old. So she's my poor old lady. That's what she is. She's a poor old lady with skin issues now. So that's enough of that. Um, she'll be fine eventually. She can't chew on herself with the cone on. So even if she's driving herself nuts, nuts itching, she's at least not ripping her. She's not going to eat through her skin. So she has eaten through a big... She's only a 25 pound dog, so she's not that big to begin with, but she has a spot on her hind end that's big where there's no fur. At least that big. That's what I can see. And it looks swollen. Oh, poor thing. I don't know if I should give her an Aveeno bath. That's what I was thinking. She hates baths. But she's long furred. So, I mean, she gets baths on a regular, but she hates it. She hates me when I give her a bath. But she has chewed herself to the point that her skin hurts. She has white fur, mostly white fur. You've seen a picture of her. Um, she has mostly white fur and she's got, it's brown with blood. 
Um, I think maybe I'm getting a call. It just said something about getting a call on my phone. But my video would be saved if I got a call. The phone has an arm, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, so the poor dog. Um, and, and I do appreciate you listening to my vent. My poor thing. But I did get, I got a couple things. Um, I've been working on the baby blanket, so I don't really have anything to show you that's complete because I've been working on the baby blanket. The blue and white one that matches the pink one. Um, but I haven't, I didn't crochet yesterday and the day before I only had like an hour to crochet, so I don't get much done on it. But I did get a Hirschnors order in the mail, so I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, I didn't get no, you know, like 50 cent yarn or anything that good of a deal, but I did, you know, sometimes you just buy things because they're pretty and you really don't know what you're getting. Well, that's what I did because they were on sale. So I got some of this uh, and I did open this because I got it yesterday uh, and I couldn't wait. So I got some of this um, cotton, what's it called? A fair multi. Uh, it is 52% cotton, 52% or 48% acrylic, um, because I wanted to try it, the Cotton Fair. And isn't it pretty? So it is, I don't know what weight, without opening it. Uh, I think most of you have probably seen this in, um, videos before. I think you can iron it. I think you can wash it, but I don't think you're supposed to put it in the dryer. Um, I don't want to rip it open and to look at it. Oh, wait, maybe here. Uh, well, okay, I'll rip it open. I'll rip it open, I'll show you. Okay. I would do a one for you, one for me, but I won't get it back in the bag. Um, well, it's not, that's not telling me what I want to know, so you can still look. Uh, it says, it's all shoved inside the ball. How are you supposed to know? Well, the color is called Cotton Candy. I got that. out of the, it's, a, it's a number two weight. Um, so it's very pretty. And I bought that because I like the colors. And I wanted to try, I wanted to try it. And it was on sale, um, let's see. Goodness, it was on sale. It was in my box. Oh, let's see, Psyche Harmony looks, oh, Cotton Fair, it's the first one. Okay, so all three of them were $7.47 for the three. So I didn't think that was too bad of a price. That's a little over $2 each. You know, like two fifty dollars each. Um, so I didn't think that was too bad. I don't know. I think it was cheaper than what you could get it at the premiere. Without it being on sale. So it was on sale, so I said, yay, I'll buy that. Then I bought these two lovelies. Now these two next two are the same yarns, just different colors. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness gracious. These have a taped bag. So you can see all the lusciousness of the colors. These are Soho Lively. I don't know what Soho stands for, but that's what these are called. They're all those beautiful colors. Even my granddaughter, the 16-year-old, loves the green, greenish, yellowish, the whatever that is. And she usually doesn't go for bright colors like that. So it's 100% acrylic. Um, three, it says it's a three weight. And what else do we get out of this? The color name is Fusion. Let's see, 262 yards. So I got five of these, so like a thousand, 1250 yards, right? Five times two is 10, yeah. So like 200 and actually 60 yards of luscious goodness of this. And these were $10. 
for the, and you know, the feel of it and the color of it, if you haven't ever seen it before, it kind of reminds you of, you know, these yarns over here. The, um, but it's all, it looks like it's all one thickness, like the um, Unforgettable goes like thin and thick. Um, it's thinner than this. Um, it, it, well, actually, it's thinner than all of those, and it, but it, it doesn't appear to go too much thick and thin, but I mean, maybe a little it does. And then this is the other, whoop, whoops, there it goes, yarn right out of the bag. Yeah, I guess it does go thick and thin. I just couldn't see it so much in that other one, but see, it gets thicker here. So it is pretty much like the forgettable. Um, or unforgettable, <laughs> sorry, unforgettable. Look at this pretty colors. I thought my grandbabies, some of them, would love these. Matching skirts, maybe? I don't know. This color is called Smitten. Ah, makes sense. I love it. I think I'm kind of smitten with the color. Oh, this bag is ripped. I didn't rip it. I didn't rip it myself because it's taped. Well, now it's easy to get back in the bag. There's the crinkle of the new yarn bag. I kind of, I know, I like it. Crinkle is good. New yarn in the bag is good. I don't know who ripped that. Maybe it came that way and I just never noticed. Okay, then I have, now I have two different colors of this as well. Um, this is also Soho Swirly Pop DK. That's what it says. Soho Swirly Pop DK. I don't think that's backwards for you. I hope not. Look at those pretty colors. So let's start with the color name is Nirvana. Now this also says it's a lightweight three, but I'm telling you, it seems a lot thinner to me than that last yarn that was a lightweight three. Look at how thin that is. Can you see? And it's kind of like a string even. It would almost, oh there, okay, look at that. Kind of reminds me of like a, let's see, get my face out of there, see if it'll not focusing so well, but it kind of reminds me more like a twine. Um, like the stuff my husband uses to tie up the tomatoes. But it's soft in the cake form. It's very soft. It's a very small cake. Um, but it's a, it says it's a three weight yarn, but I'm telling you, I think it's more like a two. Uh, because it just seems too thin to be a three. Um, but it does say three. And it is 230 yards. You can't throw it in the dryer. And it's 100% mercerized cotton. So maybe because it's mercerized cotton, which I really don't know what is mercerized. But um, anyway, I think the colors are beautiful. So pretty. And I got this, this one as well. Two of this kind. And these were, I think I paid uh, five bucks for the both of them. So they were two fifty dollars each. Which probably, if I had seen them in the store, even though the colors are really pretty, I probably wouldn't have bought it because the yarn is thinner than what I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker. Um, and I tend to get bored working with the thin yarns because the projects don't go so fast. This one is... Well, I saw the color name on the other one. Well, if this one is Nirvana, then let's just see. Uh, Fusion. No. Fusion was the other one with Smitten. Fusion, Fusion, Smitten, Smitten, Swirly Pops. Oh, this one is Whimsy. Whimsy and Nirvana. I do love them. I'm not sure what I'll make, but eventually... It will start a whip that probably will take me forever with these small yarns because that's apparently what happens with me. Get the small yarns, they take a while. I don't work on them. I mean, I work on them, but they just don't ever seem to get done. Uh, and then I bought two of each of these colors. Um, this one is 07. This one is Harmony. And you can't see in this one. Well, you can Maybe if I turn that, I see it's got yellow. Can you see it? There's pretty yellows in there. 
Oh, that might get you a good look. And purples. Very pretty. Now, this is Apache Light Northland. 100% wool. 153 yards. Hand wash, dry flat. Uh, this, too, says that it is a, that it is a three-weight yarn. Maybe I'm just thinking three-weight yarns are bigger than this. Because that looks really fine to me, too. And I was, like, thinking... See if I can grab one of these. I think... Gosh, if I grab that, I'll never get it back in there. Let's see. Now, this is Premier DK. And this is a three-weight yarn. And this is a three -weight. So, can you see the difference? I think this is like half the size of this one, and this is what I was expecting. And this is what I got. Love the yarn. Probably should have bought more, I would guess. Um, because it's not as thick as what I thought it was going to be. So now I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do anything with, since I only bought two. And there are 153 yards. I was thinking a small shawlette, but I don't know, is that going to be enough? 300 yards for a small shawlette in these beautiful colors? Because look. You can see it in here. Look at all that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got this one. As I said, this one is called Harmony. Then I have two of this one. Oh, three. It's called a Psyche. And it also is purples, but I don't think it, it doesn't have so much like the yellows and stuff. It's all just the purples and pinks. Oh, it's got maybe some darker color here, like a tealish, dark teal in there. Also very pretty. And then the last one is Ego. Look at those pretty colors. And it kind of gets into like that purpley pink. See in here? That is in here. Like, I think those colors... Can you see them? Let me get rid of this one. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we could go like this color to this color to this color. Oh, let's back them up. And do like a... Because this has the brights and then goes to the greens and the blues and the purples. And this one has the pinks and the purples, and but then it has orange. And then this one just has mostly like the pinks and the purple. So if you did something that went and put them in this order, what do you think of that? Could that work? Or or do I really have more yarn than I really think? Because I've never worked with stuff this thin. The never ending um the never ending flower, never ending shaw um that Krista from the Secret Yarnery was doing it was required a real thin fine yarn. And I bought yarn for that. Uh, and that's back here. This ice yarn. Oh, you can't see it because I'm in front of it. I bought ice yarn for that. And um, I haven't started it yet because I keep getting interrupted with other projects. Stuff that I need to make for other people. So, that is the yarns. So, let me, let me know what you think about mixing those three colors together. Or do I need to? I love them. I don't know when I'll get around to using them. Or where I'm going to... I have to find storage for them where they can be out because they're such pretty deliciousness. Um, then I also have to show you. Now, I know I've had this out, and I and this was my inspiration for my reader, Shaw. But Kitty from this uh, yarn closet wants, she's a sweet, sweet lady, um, a little snarky with her daughter, uh, and their banter is just adorable. I just totally love them. They kind of, I think, because they remind me of me and my daughter. Um, so, anyway, um, Laura, the daughter, is a apparently very talented knitter, and Kitty quilted. Uh, the ladies both have trouble with their eyes. Uh, they're legally blind. Kitty cannot sew anymore is my understanding um 
So she has taken up knitting again, which apparently she did a little bit years and years and years ago. Now she's trying to knit again and Laura is teaching her. And she's making a project, which she's coming along very well as far as I can see. I, I don't knit, so I don't have the first clue. Um, but she's working on it. And when she's done with that project, she wants to make a reader shawl and she wants to knit it. And she wants Laura to create her a pattern or convert the pattern for my crocheted one. Well, the, the thing is, the reader was originally a knitted project. I changed it from knit to crochet um, so I'm getting it out so that Kitty can see and Laura so I just want to show up close this is the shawl this is the pattern or the stitch that they used I hope you would recognize it so the original thing and you're right uh, Laura it is a big scarf with a back and, a, and pockets the back on this is ribbed and then sewn, sewn separately or how I, I guess it would be sewn. When I did mine with the circle on the back, I had to sew it on. I also did it where I didn't do a, the back differently, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, so this is the stitch and that was used on the back. And it's a ribbed thing. And again, I don't know anything about knitting, but to me it seems like the scarf part was probably done one direction and the rib on the back was done the other direction and then sewed together, but that's my guess. The pockets are the same as the front, the same stitch. So and maybe, maybe it helps if you see the back of the stitch, I don't know. But this is where the pocket is attached, so they got little attached spaces there, just, you know, sewn on. Um, but this is what the back of the scarf part looks like when the front looks like this stitch. It goes like the back goes, looks like a different direction than the front. I'm sure that all makes sense to you. Anybody that knits probably all understands what all of this is. But that's what I got, and I just wanted... To give them a close-up look if they wanted to try uh, looks like that's probably a pretty basic stitch the yarn is thick I'm gonna say it's probably a five weight um, well you can see here it's kind of like frilled, you know frizzed out a little bit from um, so it's probably a five weight yarn and they probably used a pretty big hook or needle <laughs> sorry I'm a hooker um, so anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for them so they can get a better look. I'm sure it's very simple. The design and pattern for mine is very simple because it's, you know, was the whole point was to make it simple. Um, so anyway, that's that. And I uh, just want to show anybody that cares and Laura and Kitty. And then I just have a couple of shout outs. Um, Madonna Ballard has started her own YouTube channel. Um, I know that she's subscribed to a lot of you and if you didn't know that she started her own channel, because she's been not on a crochet, she's been I think an active um, viewer uh, and subscriber to many people for a long time and now she started her own channel. So you need to check her out. Um, and then there's Kimber Ann's Crochet and Knits. She does a lot of I think clothing. Uh, she does other stuff. She sews. Uh, I don't know if she and she does those um, dots, diamond painting things. Um, but I watched a couple of her videos and and she's made some really nice stuff. And then today I caught the first time the little Xena patch with her our uh, our amigurumis, um, and all of these people that I mentioned all have under 500 subscribers so they could use some support and I will try when I upload this to get uh, links and, and but I can't guarantee you might just have to look them up because uh, if the vet calls or if my grandkid gets here before the upload is done then then I'm out I'm done it'll get uploaded before I get to that uh, but that's all I have oh and I forgot I always forget 
Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'm supposed to say that in the beginning. Hit the red button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, leave a comment, share, like, all of that stuff. I, it really helps. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry that you got this far through and I always forget to ask you to do that. But now I did, so we've covered the business end of it, I guess. Um, leave a comment if you have, and um, particularly about can I use these yarns together or do I have enough to make something, and if I do, what of these little yarns that really probably are not as much of a three as they look like. But th these ones, or as they say they are, they don't, to me, look like they are. Now, these ones have 230 each, but the other ones... They're only like 150 yards. Um, so is that enough? I don't know. Or put them together. What do you think? All right. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, all of that stuff. Uh, Laura and Kitty, I hope that helps. And I would love for you to go to my Facebook page group. Yep, it's Charmed Grammy Crochet Group. And then you have to like click to join and I have to let you join. Um, I don't make you answer those questions or anything like that. But just click join and then you can share your stuff. But there's not a lot of people there yet. So I'm trying to get the word out. So um, Charmed Grammy Crochet Group. If you go to Charmed Grammy Crochet, which is just a page, like it should be a business page, I think whole nother story not going to go off on that tangent but if you go there and you like that page it shows up somewhere and then I can invite you to the group if you can't find the group page should just try to get on to um but I think if you just type in charmed grammy crochet group it might pull up the group for you it should pull up the group for you technology I'm not that good at it anymore 10 years ago when I worked in in an office I was a pro. Ten years later, I'm a dinosaur. Happens. What are you going to do? But I can deal cards for you, no problem. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out of here. See ya. Bye. Have a great day.